and um, you know uh, or x or gate and then x not gate uh, is someone is entering no it is really you know uh, for me it is tough to draw this kind of thing so already i have uh, you know um I created this and then i will explain uh, while doing a truth table i can use another uh, document okay so the nand gate is a uh, uh, inverted of and gate so can you see this diagram here so what what is the main logic for uh, and gate uh, that is a symbol uh, what is a symbol for and gate uh, that is a multiplication right so for if if you pass two way values x and y and then what you will get you will get x into y right so that is a logic for and gate so nand gate is that just simply inverted and gate so which means we are connecting here uh, some other not operation okay so um, for example if you write um, um truth table for this so one second let me drag here okay so can you able to see two documents guys yes ma'am okay so nand gate uh, is a inverted and gate okay uh, if, if you pass it has a two or more inputs and then you will get one output so obviously uh, you know if you are multiplying okay hold on someone is trying yeah binya <coughs> okay um if you want to multiply definitely you need two inputs right if you want to add or whatever the expression if you want to do you need a two inputs so the same logic will apply here and the gate has either two inputs or two more inputs okay so for, for example if you uh, using a nand gate uh, nand gate especially sorry about the noise um okay um two or more inputs that is the main thing so i am assuming uh, we have two inputs x and y and then what is the and gate gives it will give x into y right so assume the value for x and y uh, x equals to 0 y equal to 0 what you will get you will get obviously multiplying these two you will get a uh, zero right so for example uh, i am you know i'm going to assign y equal to 1 what you will get uh, then then also you will get uh, the same procedure right M multiplying anything with a zero you will get a zero so okay then finally what you get 1 into 1 when you pass two values are high then you will get uh, the resultant value high this is uh, for and gate so what we are going to learn we are you know learning nand gate nand gate means inverted of and gate right so which means x y whole bar i don't like uh, okay just i uh, put bracket and then whole bar see uh, can you see this diagram after uh, we got x into y we are connected with the some other not gate so it will produce the uh, result of uh, you know um, inverted result okay so which means uh, uh, let's see the uh, truth table so what we got x into y is 0 so uh, x into y bar we get 1 right right yes ma'am yeah uh, so what is a uh, inverted of 0 so you will get 1 then same way uh, everything will goes one and then here when it comes here you will get um, zero so that is a logic for uh, and gate for imagine if you have uh, three inputs okay so just uh, let me make it here some other variable called e set then same thing once again uh, what are all the possibilities okay let me change here zero and then 1 and then 10 uh, okay this is correct this is 0 i don't like here okay then 1 uh, 0 sorry 0 right give me that um, you know possibility of uh, three inputs yeah one one 
one, right? So we will what we will get x into y. Yeah. Ma'am, you mean one one zero one will come. Ah, uh, one zero one here, here. Above, ma'am. Only seven possibilities are there. Ah, uh, where I missed one. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. Got it. Ah, uh, zero one. Then one zero, right? Then one one one, right? So if uh, then uh, if you if you are connected with the AND gate, what you will get? Whatever multiply with a zero, you will get only zero, right? Which means uh, except the last state, you will get all the uh, values are zero, right? Because one or somehow we are multiplying with a zero, so you will get uh, the result and value will be zero. So which means zero. Then finally we will get some uh, high value uh, one. So now we are, after that we are if we are connecting with an an AND gate. Oh, come on, what is that? Okay, then we will get x into y into z a whole bar, right? So just um, now uh, inverted this, what you will get, you will get one, everything one, right? Except last possibility. Uh, na, 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 na. Here we will get zero. Okay, got it? So this is the uh, logical circuit for um, I know NAND gate. Uh, if you use uh, three inputs, what you will get? Uh, and until all the inputs are high, then only you will uh, you know um, you will get a uh, uh, you know, low value. So any combination of uh, zero and one, you will get high input, right? Sorry, high output. If you see the truth table, you will come to know, right? So combination of any any high and low, you will get the high result, right? Then if all the inputs are uh, high, then definitely using a NAND gate, you will get the uh, output low. So you can write, uh, draw the circuit, logical circuit, instead of you know connecting one more uh, NAND gate, and then just directly you can put a circle, uh, then uh, it will treat as a NAND gate. You got it right up to here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then move on to uh, NOR gate. It's exactly like um, under gate. Uh, if you want to, you know, use NOR gate, it is an inverted OR gate, right? So let me write us with uh, two inputs. It, it is also have um, two um, two inputs or more inputs, right? Not single input because if you are if you are not get, you're gonna add uh, some uh, two variables, two variables or more variables. So after that, adding it, then it is inverted uh, into OR gate. So imagine uh, if you are adding a two, uh, passing two values, x and y, what you will get x plus y whole bar. Okay, so just uh, write the uh, two inputs truth table, you will get it. First, uh, x plus y. Uh, once again. Okay. Then what is the possibility? Zero plus zero. Um, what you will get, you will get zero, right? Yeah, in, in uh, x nor gate, okay, yeah, zero and one, what you will get, one. one. Yeah, one and zero, what you will get, one. One and one, uh, you will get one. So this is just a simple OR gate. No, we want to calculate for NOR gate. NOR gate means it is an inverted OR gate. So take a complement of it, uh, X plus Y whole bar. So what is the value? We, you know, um, take a complement of this. So what you will get, inverted this, one. Then rest of the values will become a zero, right? The resultant value for this zero, this zero, which means all the inputs, regardless, uh, you know, high or low, yeah, all the inputs should be low, then only you will get the high values, right? So here, 
so uh, you, you know if it is a three input if you are using a three input or four inputs uh, all the inputs all you know x y z or uh, you know a b uh, whatever how many inputs it doesn't matter everything should be uh, low then only you will get the high result otherwise the combination of uh, high and low you will get only the low result okay so that is a uh, nor gate x okay then move on to, you got it right this one how do you draw this uh, it is really a little bit complicated so i you know i like a childish way i i draw draw this one um x plus y if you want to use more uh, inputs then that is not a problem here uh, you, you know by using a pen paper and pen you can easily draw okay so this is three input a nor gate and then what you will get here plus is it okay then bar should be uh, to is it okay you got it i have to mention here a is it i don't know okay leave it then let's move on to xor gate xor gate is a uh, you know exclusive or gate so this is the diagram for exclusive or gate which means uh, you can you uh, know you should use one either two inputs or more inputs okay we um uh, you know the the combination should be odd then only you will get the uh, high value which means um, you know for example <coughs> uh, let me write a two table then you will come to know so let me use two um, values x y x y i would say f okay the resultant value okay so the combination should be uh, odd not even number for example this is 0 and 0 i am passing two inputs uh, both are low which which means the combination of these two are even numbers right even uh, values so if um, what i get i would get only zero you understand this or not so combination of odd means any one of the input should be uh, you know low one should be high then only uh, i will get using xor get i would i will get uh, you know high value otherwise everything uh, goes only low value low value means which means it is a zero so you got it right so the combination of input is uh, this one is odd number you know right what is odd number even number right guys any yeah so um okay this oh, then this combination of okay combination of these two input is like a uh, even or odd in this case is e, uh, odd number so i definitely i will get a uh, high value then i use a xor gate okay so now then what is the last possibility of uh, you know assigning input one and one so one and one which means this combination uh, is even number even value right so even value means using a xor gate i will get uh, what we will get the low value so this is the exclusive or gate combination okay you understand this you can use either uh, two inputs or more or you can use three input or four input so what uh, if you use three inputs the combination of input should be all then you will get the high value okay let me explain only one uh, okay imagine i am assigning uh, three inputs okay so let me write the combination zero here one on to exam to this chapter uh, you know i may struggle writing this and that after that it will be okay when we start writing a code, python code and then that would be nice we can use a editor and then not a problem uh -huh. this is a possibility right uh, guys watch it uh, sometimes i may miss it Mom, zero one one. You didn't write. Yeah, 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 yeah. One second. Um, there. Zero one one. Right. Okay. One. One. Here it should go to zero. Right. 
then one zero zero and then one zero right one 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 this is fine right we get eight possibilities one one zero one ma'am ah uh, where where ah yes somehow i missed something I'm gonna go up. Okay. One, one, one. Right? Okay. Then up to here. I, I, I'm gonna delete this. So we don't need it. Okay. Let me scrap it. Okay. So now we we what we gonna do exclusive or get okay exclusive or get will the resultant value I write um, f okay so what is the combination I said the combination is even here all right so the even means what you we will get we will get a low value so low value means only zero so check these three inputs that what is the combination combination is odd right. We get only one high input. So what will be the answer? Answer is high. You know, uh, you understand this or not? So here, combination of high input is uh, what is that? Even or odd? Odd, ma'am. Odd. So if it is odd, then we will get a high value, right? So here, the combination is even value, right? So even means obviously we will get uh, using an exclusive or get we get a low value. So low value means zero. Okay, here the combination of three inputs what we get uh, what we are passing that only uh, odd number. So odd number means we get high in by resultant value, right? Then in this uh, um, possibility we pass combination is even. So if it is combination is even, then what we'll get, we will get a uh, low uh, resultant value. What is that? Low, low means zero. Okay. Here also the combination of input is even. So we get a low value. So zero. Okay. Let's check this last possibility. What is a combination of three inputs? Uh, both are uh, e, odd number, right? So three is a odd number. So what we will get, we will get a high value. So this is uh okay guys when you uh, after talk uh, then please mute because uh, you know uh, before i use my head, uh, phone uh, to, for the audio but now i am connected with uh, the google classroom uh, audio so it is echoing me i couldn't you know bear it okay after uh, if you want to ask something right away then mute yourself after asking okay so this is exclusive or gate and then same thing, uh, you know, um, at the next move on to exclusive NOR gate. So that which means um, this is the inverted of exclusive OR gate, right? See, um, you know what is um, XOR gate, right? So XOR gate, it has only, uh, you know, Two inputs are more inputs. Uh, one, the combination of input is, uh, you know, input combination is odd number. Then you will get the uh, high result, right? Then exclusive NOR gate. NOR gate is we, uh, you know, inverted uh, this XR. Okay. So what you will get? The combination is even. Then you will get the high value. So when the combination is uh, odd, you will get the um, you know, resultant value will be low. So just you are inverting here, uh, inverting the resultant value. See, I in the logical diagram, I connected with uh, some uh, not gate. So not gate means I can, I don't want to draw like this. I know, I don't want to draw like this. You can, you know, simply, simply uh, you can, uh, you know, put circle in front of the and gate or or gate. It will treat as an and gate uh, here. It will, uh, you know, this is the um, R gate symbol, right? The exclusive R gate. So if you connect with uh, some NOT gate, it will consider as an exclusive NOR gate. Okay. So you know that uh, what is R and NOR? See, R gate means without this inverter, uh, NOT gate. 
so you know as usual way uh, uh, or gate how it works uh, whatever the value you are passing then it will be added using a nor gate symbol as addition right plus so if you add not gate and uh, which means you are inverting that result so how do you write it x plus y whole bar so this is nor gate and then move on to x or uh, xr gate xr gate means exclusive or gate you know when you go to physics lab and uh, then uh, physics sir will help uh, you know show you uh, all the real uh, law circuits and then you, you will experiment uh, how it will work exclusive or gate and then uh, x nor gate okay so don't worry about uh, ma'am how it will work this and that just when you uh, work in real um, using a law, real circuit you will come to know okay then let's move on to x exclusive nor gate exclusive nor gate is a just inverted the, the xor gate right so which means um, whatever we calculated here this is for xor gate and just take the inversion and then you will get exclusive nor gate you you, you got it right guys yes ma'am yeah yes, ma Uh, okay so what will be the output what is the combination you will get the high value for xor gate uh, when and the combination of input be become even then you will get high uh, value high result which means one so any combination of input will become odd then you will get the low value okay so forget about this uh, okay so imagine we we are passing these three okay forget about this this one the result in one so the combination of three inputs what is that uh, it is a even number right so even number means ex using exclusive nor gate what you will get just you are taking a inverse term of this so what is the result in value result will be one so here what is a combination the combination is odd so if it is combination is odd what you will get if it is a xor gate you will get high input so if it is exclusive nor gate x nor gate so take a inverted of this you will get a low value right guys you understand this or not yes okay yes, so what okay then now next possibilities is 0 1 0 so which means um, our my input uh, you know input possibilities are odd number right so odd number if you are using uh, xor gate you will get high value so apply with the exclusive nor gate just connect a inverter here uh, inverter here so what you will get you will get complement of this number so what is that complement of this you will get zero, zero. yeah now go to next possibility 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 means this input has a even um, values so even value means if it is exclusive or gate that is fine the you will get a low value then take a inverter of this complement of this what you will get high value yeah one then another possibility 1 0 0 1 means um, which is the input has a uh, odd number so odd number means what you will get don't in, uh, look at here immediately you can come to know a uh, exclusive nor gate exclusive nor gate any uh, combination of input is odd you will get high value high result and value yeah, low high right low then move on to next one 1 0 so if it is even number then what you will get so you will get high value one okay yeah one so here also the combination of input is even so what you will get a high value okay so then here last possibility uh, is odd number If, if it is a odd inputs then um ex using a exclusive nor gate what you will get you will get a low value which means zero so that is the um, you know x nor gate which see x nor gate okay simply if you don't know just apply xor gate and then take a complement of this you will get exclusive nor gate okay
<coughs> you got it okay yeah. next to move on to logical circuit you have to draw logic logic circuit logical circuit so how do you draw that logical circuit is a circuit which, which means you know uh, in uh, physics lab you know what is a circuit here you would say that some uh, drawings right so the logical circuit is a circuit that carries out a set of logical action what are the logical actions so logical means uh, here logical expression what is that either you are using a and or or using the symbol either plus or multiplication right so the carries out a set of logical action based on the expression so what we have to do so just break the boolean expression into small uh, subsections so for example my boolean expression is ab plus i uh, cd <coughs> you i want to draw the logical circuit for this means first what i have to do break this expression into smaller subgroups which means a into b is a one and then c into d okay then find out which operation is uh, uh, applied here this is and uh, and means uh, you know how to draw that and operation here uh you is another and so let me draw here i don't like it okay let's draw here a plus b a and then one more thing a so what we are doing we are multiplying so which means uh you know and gate right we have to use and gate to connect these two okay then Okay, this is A. Oh, no, 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 no. This is A, and then this is B, right? And this is B. Okay. Then we, what we are doing, we are passing two variables using a and gate. What we will get A into B, right? Guys. A into B. Yes. So, yeah, just we are multiplying or uh, using and gate multiplying these two terms. So how do you write it? A into B. A into B. Then we have to draw another circuit, uh, the, which is C into D. So here, what operation is performing? It is and uh, so multiplication. So multiplication means and gate. So and gate again. I have to draw the same thing. Uh, one second. Ah, oh, come on. Definitely Monday I will give, uh, uh, I will submit uh, your answer sheet, okay? So, da -da 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 -da, shapes. And then, okay, I'm passing that variable a uh, CD. C and then b what you will get c into b <coughs> sorry 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 uh -huh. c into b because we are using a, a under operation which means multiplication we multiply this we you know first we break that uh, logical expression into small subunits so so uh, take that first uh, sub unit then what we will we have done here multi we are using a uh, you know and gate and gate is a um, multiplication symbols right so using that then we got a into b then we took another uh, the second subunit and then uh, passing another and gate we got it right so how we connect these two using a or gate so here or gate sign is plus so we need to connect this a into b sorry a into b and the c into d with some other or gate so i'm gonna connect with the or gate uh, 
sorry for my poor drawing. I don't like drawing this. Okay, then I have to connect to some R gate, right? That is the R gate sign. <laughs> okay, let me draw here. Uh, Okay, sorry about the poor drawing here. Okay, this is, you know, uh, this way. Uh, can you see here this sign and this symbol? So this is the, uh, you know, this is the way you have to draw that logical, uh, sorry, R gate. So uh, I missed something here. Uh, that is why it is showing this sign. Sorry about it. I don't know. Can you guys find out where it is? <laughs> Okay, never mind. Uh, so imagine this is our gate. Okay, so then um, we will get the result. What? How we get? We get a. See, uh, guys, your uh, everyone is listening, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So uh, what is the resultant value we'll get? A, A into B plus C into B, okay? So here we, we get this resultant value, A plus A into B plus C into D. This way you have to draw the uh, logical circuit. Suppose my, uh, you know, um, my expression C will become an inverter. Uh, for I assume I'm uh, passing that uh, my expression C has a inverted, which means I have to connect some uh, not get here. Okay, so before uh, you know here, I have to connect not gate. So okay, draw not gate here. Then I need to connect with this. So after this, you will get here a C dash, right? You got it now? Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Guys, right, sorry about it. I'm just moving on, C dash. And then, come on. I don't like. Okay. So here, I have to mention that C dash. Here, I have to mention that C dash. Okay, this is how you, you draw the um, logical circuit. For example, in my expression is uh, a, uh, a B plus uh, A into C dash D. So what you gonna do? So take another uh, uh, you know connection with a A. So how you connect it? Uh, take this. E. Okay. And then one more time. You have to draw nicely, okay? So I just, um, you know, drawing, uh, you know, dancing here and there. Never mind. See, my expression is A, B plus A into C dash D. Okay, so how do you group it? Uh, from here, I'm splitting the first uh, unit as A, B. Then second thing, I'm, you know, calculating A into C dash D. Uh, so how do you uh, you know draw that first draw the for a into b as usual way you can you know draw using an and gate and gate you will get a into b then we are going to uh, you know multiply a into c dash into d so you can uh, you know directly you can uh, draw from a here or if you want to draw separately you can uh, you know um, I would say no. I, I, you know, let me draw here. Directly, you can draw. This is you can mark it here. Yay. Okay. So this is not a nice way. So you can link with this yay here from I know uh, draw take a input from this yay and then connect with another and gate. Okay. So this is the uh, logic, right? You understand this? So the resultant value will be here, A into C dash uh, into D. Then what you will get here, A into C dash uh, into D. You got it, right, guys? Yes. 
Okay. Uh, yes, you know, in your textbook, uh, they they are given more. Uh, you know, samples um, already. You know, they given with the result, and then if we can work out. Uh, you know. Uh, using um, some other logical expressions. Uh, I will give you some uh, assignment so you can draw and then uh, send me the screenshot, okay? Uh, it is really tough for me uh, using a word and then drawing this and that. So this is the logical circuit. Uh, you, uh, uh, Everyone understand this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, okay. Yes, ma uh, okay, that's all this chapter. Um, you know, uh, in the Google Drive, I post some of the uh, logical expression. You draw that logical circuit and then uh, again post it back. Okay. okay. So that is uh, that is okay. a homework. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so far, we covered that uh, third, third chapter completely. Then Monday onwards, we move on to uh, next chapter. You know, inside uh, into program execution. So how inter uh, interpreter uh, works, and then uh, what is the source code, and then compilation. Uh, you know, the what is the operating system, the cloud computing thing. We will see uh, in the fourth chapter. Okay. Now, right now, I'm I am call up this session. We will see on Monday. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. <coughs>